India's aircraft carrier ambitions are growing, but so is the need for a next-generation fighter that can take off from a deck, land safely at sea, and compete with the stealthiest aircraft in the region. For years, the Indian Navy has relied on the Russian-built MiG-29K to fill this role. But those jets are aging, and New Delhi now wants something better, something designed in India for Indian carriers and for the future of naval warfare. That's where the twin-engine deck-based fighter, or TEDBF, comes in. This ambitious program, still in development, aims to deliver a 4.5-generation stealth-capable fighter built specifically for carrier operations. And if successful, it could position India as one of the few countries with an indigenous naval fighter program. So in this video, let's explore what we know about the TEDBF so far, how it compares to other naval jets, and what it could mean for the future of the Indian Navy. India's experience with naval aviation has been shaped by years of relying on imported technology. The current naval fighter fleet consists of Russian MiG-29Ks, which have had their share of issues, from maintenance challenges to limited performance in maritime conditions. The Indian Navy has long sought a replacement, and after evaluating foreign platforms like the FA-18 Super Hornet and the Rafale M, it opted to pursue an indigenous solution. The TEDBF is being developed by India's Aeronautical Development Agency under the Department of Defense Research and Development. Production is expected to be handled by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, known as HAL. Together, these organizations have been responsible for the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft Program, a fighter already in service with the Indian Air Force, and is being gradually refined for naval variants. But unlike the Tejas, which was adapted for carrier use, the TEDBF is being designed from the ground up for deck-based operations. According to official sources, this new platform will be a twin-engine, medium-weight fighter with stealth shaping, foldable wings for carrier storage, and a reinforced undercarriage for carrier takeoff and landings. It will also feature advanced avionics, including an indigenous AESA radar, infrared search and track systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and possibly sensor fusion. All features typical of modern 4.5 generation fighters. The aircraft is expected to be powered by two General Electric F414 engines, the same power plants chosen for the Tejas Mark II and already in use in aircraft like the US Navy's Super Hornet. These engines give the TEDBF a significant thrust advantage, allowing it to carry heavier payloads and operate from short runways or stowbar configured carriers like the INS Vikrant. In terms of weapons, the TEDBF will likely carry a mix of indigenous and imported systems. Indian missiles such as the Astra air-to-air -air missile and the upcoming Rudram anti-radiation missile are expected to be integrated, along with precision-guided munitions and possibly the air-launched variant of the BrahMos NG in the future. The TEDBF will have a total of 11 hardpoints, including wingtip and fuselage stations and be capable of both air superiority and ground attack roles. One key requirement for the TEDBF is compatibility with existing Indian carriers. Both INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant use STOBAR, short takeoff but arrested recovery, configurations. That means the aircraft must launch from a ski jump without catapults and land using arrestor wires. However, the TEDBF is also being designed with future catabar operations in mind in case India decides to adopt catapult-assisted systems for its next generation of aircraft carriers. As of 2025, the TEDBF is in the design and development phase, with the first prototype expected to fly by 2026. If all goes to plan, the aircraft could enter service by 2032. That may sound far off, but designing and fielding a carrier-capable fighter from scratch is a complex task, involving airframe development, carrier landing trials, weapons integration, and rigorous testing at sea. Still, the TEDBF project carries strategic significance. It's not just about having another fighter. It's about building an ecosystem that supports domestic defense production, reduces reliance on imports, 
and creates long-term capability for the Indian Navy. With regional tensions in the Indian Ocean increasing and China rapidly expanding its own naval aviation fleet, including the stealthy J-35 carrier fighter, India is under pressure to modernize its maritime assets. In that context, this program represents a long-term investment in both technology and sovereignty. If successful, it could give India not just a new fighter, but a foundation for future carrier-based stealth platforms and unmanned combat systems. It may also create export opportunities, especially among countries seeking alternatives to Western or Russian carrier aircraft. India's TEDBF program is still years away from delivering an operational fighter, but it's already one of the most closely watched projects in South Asia's defense landscape. Built for Indian carriers, powered by twin engines, and equipped with modern weapons and sensors, the TEDBF is designed to give the Indian Navy the air wing it needs for the next generation of maritime challenges. Whether it meets its deadlines and performance goals remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, India is serious about building its own future in naval aviation. And with the TEDBF, that future may take off from the deck of an Indian carrier, built by India and flown by India. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.